Hey guys, I know this is a bit of an unexpected video since I don't usually post anything on the weekends, but I recently purchased the pre-order for the new Anthem game, and I tried to play it for a couple hours last night, pretty late, so I was the only one on the Wi-Fi, so that wasn't the issue, and I'm playing on an Xbox One X, so that wasn't much of an issue either, but... Most of the, the beginning of the, the whole experience was a little rough. I downloaded it. It actually downloaded pretty fast, but as soon as I went to play, I started the demo, and like it made me walk through this like this whole time, and then it just ran this little like <coughs> town lagging. for like ever because it doesn't let you walk any faster. And then when I get to the place I'm trying to go, I get in the suit, get all excited that I'm about to start a level, and then. This loading screen pops up for about like 30 minutes yeah, like, and it's like it. stuck at the end yeah, so I restart the game and then it starts to work so I like I open it back up and then I go to the level and then and all this happens the all this I'm rubber banding and really like uh, it yeah, just yeah. wasn't fun initially and like I was kind of getting annoyed because I, I just bought the thing and I just wanted to play I mean, it looked really cool, and the graphics were good, and the monsters were cool, but like I couldn't, I couldn't accomplish anything with like throwing me back and forth and all that stuff. So I just figured I'd make a little bit of a video, kind of sharing my opinion on the new game, since this weekend is the VIP demo. So if you guys are planning on getting it or already have it, um, just look out for some of these things. Um, I eventually. In a little bit, I reset the I reset the game and got back in, and it was working a little bit better. And the enemies were actually pretty pretty interesting and cool. And I was playing as the ranger since I just started, so I didn't really I I was very confused when I first started because I'm new to these kind of games, but it looked pretty cool, so I figured I would try it out. But it was pretty fun. Once I got the hang of it, and once I actually was able to play the game, instead of just like rubber banding back and forth and having to redo everything like a hundred times. I mean, these dragon things are pretty annoying, but what are you going to do? It's also on like the one of the harder difficulties, so it's... Uh, it was interesting, to say the least. But once I got everything figured out, it was pretty fun. It took me a while to learn how to fly, but I got it, and... I figured it out. I'm playing on Xbox One. I mean, as a, as you guys probably know by now, but it was, it was pretty all right. Some of the good things were the environment looked really cool. It kind of looked a little repetitive, but it looked pretty cool nonetheless. I, I liked it. It kind of reminded me of the the Avatar movie from a while ago with the the blue people. What just shot me? So I I liked it, but. Some of the bad things are like oh. these loading screens. There are so many of them. Like every transition, like you don't get to just walk into the next room. You have to go through a loading screen and mm. it takes forever to load. I don't know if that's just because it's the demo or if that's what they're planning on doing when the game comes out, but I really hope not. Cause this was kind of annoying and I don't know what the, the problem was, but it was taking forever to do anything. But the game overall, once it started actually playing, was pretty fun. I actually liked it, but eventually after I liked it, I was in the middle of a big boss fight, which you'll see here probably in a second, and like my team was Ooh, not doing hurt. so hot. Damn, I don't know what they were doing, they just kept dying, but anyways, I was just in the middle of it, and then I go down, and it's like, oh, you're respawning. In three, two, one, and then it never puts me back in the game. So I don't know like what the problem was. And then it just randomly froze, started making a weird buzzing noise, and then kicked me out and sent me to the Xbox dashboard. And that's when I got off the game for the night. But I don't know. 
It was an oh, interesting experience, to say the least. It was pretty fun once I, like, for the little bit that I actually got to play. But other than that, it was rough. So, so I just figured I would share my experience with you guys. And for any new viewers, make sure to check out some other content. And maybe <coughs> like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to see something do new. Or if you want to see me play more of this game. Because I might, I might keep the, might keep the pre-order, but I don't know at this point. I'm gonna try again tonight, oh, see if it works a little bit better. But if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know. And any other new games world, that are coming right? out, just let me know if you want to see me play them. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting the Dying Light 2 game, or maybe Fallout 76. The game I don't know worse. yet, because I've heard that game wasn't. Wasn't very fun. Oh, no, no, didn't no. come out finished, but I guess I'll have to no, see. No, it froze. But it's been Dark Wizard, and I'm out. Well, I think that's a sign I need to go to bed. <laughs>